they, that they did. So, and like this, the people say, well, y'all big guys making baskets. But back in West Africa, where the, the, the basket street was developed, mended baskets. And the reason why they mended baskets is because when they were doing baskets, it was a life experience. It was something that was taught to the younger men when they were making their baskets. Because these baskets represented you as a man. And when you're sewing your basket, a basket is used to carry things. And as being a man, a head of the household, you have to be strong enough to carry something. So that's why you, when you feel these baskets, they're like rocks. Because they were taught to be able to pull, to make it strong. And your material that you use to bind your, all your materials together was considered love. And what keeps a family together is love. Those things were taught to young men at a young age. So they were developing their character. They were developing their morals. Things that meant something to them as young as, a, as, a, as young men that they should carry, should cherish, taking care of your family. Family was first. Family was more important than anything. So these baskets, so when you see these baskets, you say, oh, those are some beautiful baskets. Awesome baskets. But once you start hearing the story behind these baskets, and how rich is and how important it is to our culture. You know, that you'll see, you know what? Oh my God, we have more than just a basket. We have a piece of history. We have we have history, we have our future, you know, in these baskets. You know, so that's why it was so important. Even we look at the fact that these baskets were when they were on the plantations making these baskets, they made these baskets in some horrible times, under some horrible conditions. But they were able, they were still able to produce something so beautiful. So that tells and lets you know that no matter kind of any situation that you're in, you still can make something happen. You still can create, no matter what kind of pressure you're under, you can create, you can make something happen. Because why? Because that's in you. We were created to create. And, you know, and those enslaved Africans, under those, those conditions, were able to create something that's such a beautiful, that we consider now art. So I get, I get kind of emotional sometimes when I'm sitting down at the uh, museum where Michael and I work, and I started thinking about how these, our ancestors made these baskets under hardship. Now Michael and I have the privilege to sit in the museum under air condition and talk and make money for something that they planted. They planted the seed. Now we reap in the harvest of their labor. And they left such a legacy for us. That's why it's so important to make sure that you leave a heritage for your young ones, something that they can build on. It's our job to start the foundation, and these baskets were the foundation. And now Michael and I are building on it. It's our job, it's our endeavor to keep it going, to keep it going, to, to keep it rich. And this culture, we, all, we always say the culture is not just one set of people, but it's a culture, you know what I'm saying? It's a lifestyle. And it took a bunch of people from different backgrounds to create such an awesome culture. And this culture consists of the language, consists of the art forms, so many different things that created that culture. That's why it lasts over 400 years. Because anyone can go to a different part of the world and they can hear something that their grandfather might have said or their grandma might have said. And they'll, say, and they'll come to Hilton Head Island and they say, you know what, I've heard that. Because that culture, that language consists of French, Creole, English, Patois, all these all, Creole, all, all those different dialects from Africa created that one language. So it took a bunch of people with a determination to have communication. And what they did, they forgot about their different problems or different things that they had that was that they were against and came together and created such an awesome language. And that's the Gullah language. And it took everyone to come together and they realized that, you know what, we are here, but we can't get anything accomplished until we communicate. And that's the key thing. That's the only way you can get things accomplished, you have to establish communication. And once they established that communication, they were able to go forward. And that's why we are here today feasting on what they created. And everyone played a part in that Gullah culture. So it's not just a people, it's a culture. And the culture evolved, the culture was developed 
when they were placed when the enslaved were placed on the plantations in Charleston. Those plantations started from Florida, from North Carolina down to the Florida coast, and those plantations were rice plantations. And that's why we have baskets over there, which is when our one of our common baskets or our traditional baskets was a rice fan. And that's what they used to clean rice. All right, because those those African those enslaved Africans were so skillful. They just didn't go to Africa and just picked up people random. They went there for a purpose because people people specialized in different areas or different things. They were very skillful people, and they were placed on those plantations in in in, in the rice plantations. They were able to cultivate rice. They was able to cultivate rice in in stagnated water and fresh water. Awesome. So they, that's, and that's why we had that rice banner. And like I was saying earlier to someone else, as, as, as the basket tree developed and evolved, it became more of a show basket. So now you have your different designs, your different handles and things of that nature. But all your baskets that were placed on a plantation during that era were functional baskets. They were made for use. They made baskets, they have a Moses basket over there, which is considered, that's what they used to carry babies in the fields. They weren't able to. They weren't able to have a baby and lay up 12 months, or a couple of weeks, or a couple of months. They had to go straight back to work. Okay, time out. I'm sorry, running my mouth. I'm sorry. Time out. 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 Time